today my mom's going to read you a book called The Wizard of Oz. It's about this little girl named Dorothy, and she lives in Kansas with her Aunt Em and Uncle Henry and her dog Toto. And her dog Toto was so small, she used to carry him around in a picnic basket all the time. So it opens up with uh, Dorothy thinking about this place somewhere over the rainbow, rainbow way up high. There's a land that she's heard of once in a lullaby. Somewhere over that rainbow skies are blue and dreams that she dare to dream really do come true. And someday she'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind her. Her troubles will melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. And that's where you'll find her. And she would loll away the Kansas day what was on the other side of the rainbow. And then one day, this tornado came up in Kansas. And the tornado picked up her house. And she said, the wind began to switch. The house began to pitch. And suddenly the hinges started to become unhitched. And just then a witch, to satisfy an itch, went flying by on a broomstick, thumbing for a ride. She saw this witch flying by. So her house comes to rest in the lands of munchkins. Munchkins are little people. And it fell on top of the wicked witch of the east and killed her. So the munchkins were very pleased, so sweetly pleased and, and kindly to Dorothy for getting rid of the wicked witch of the east. The witch is dead, the wicked witch, the wicked witch. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. Wake up, you sleepy head. Rub your eyes, get out of bed. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. They were so happy that they gave the wicked witch of the east magic shoes to Dorothy. there, all around Dorothy, so happy that she killed the Wicked Witch of the East. And this is her house as the wind began to pick up and switch and pitch until it came unhitched. So Dorothy was scared and all she wanted to do was get home. And she said, could you help me find my way home? And the munchkins shook their heads. They didn't know the way. But they thought, but you can go to Emerald City, they said, and ask the Wizard of Oz for help. So they told her, put on your magic shoes. And they said, follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, follow, follow. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. So here she sets off to find the wizard of Oz to help her. And after many miles, Dorothy runs into this scarecrow. And the scarecrow says, you know, can I go to the Emerald City with you? Perhaps the wizard of Oz can give me a brain. And the scarecrow said, he wanted a brain because he could while away the hours confirming with the flowers and consulting with the rain if I only had a brain. So Dorothy told him, okay, he could go with her to the Emerald City and help her find the Wizard of Oz in order to get the Scarecrow a brain. So the next day they found this tin man in the forest and he was all locked up because he hadn't been oiled in a long time. And he asked, Perhaps can I go to see the Wizard of Oz to give me a heart? And he said to Dorothy, I'd be tender and I'd be gentle and awful sentimental regarding the love of Oz. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy with the arrows if I only had a heart. So Dorothy said, well, yeah, sure. He could go with her too to find the wizard for him to get a heart and the scarecrow to get a brain. 
And there they are. Here's the scarecrow, and there's the tin man. So they take off, following the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road, and then a lion jumped out, out of the bushes and roared, and he tried to bite Toto. And she said, how dare you bite at my little dog? You coward, said Dorothy. I know, said the lion, but how can I help it? Do you think the Wizard of Oz could give me some courage? And he said, I'm afraid there's no denying that I'm just a dandy lion, a fate I don't deserve. Yeah, it's sad. Believe me, Misty, when you're born to be a sissy, but if I only had the nerve. So Dorothy said, well, why don't you come with us to see the Wizard of Oz so he can give you courage. So they went across ditches and over rivers at last they came to the land of Oz. They went to the Emerald City. Everything in the city was green and gleaming. And they told her to follow that yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. The Wizard of Oz lived in a palace. He was a magician and a wizard. He could change the way he looked. So here they all were, skipping down the yellow brick road into Emerald City. You know, an emerald is green, so that's why it describes it as a green city. And there in the throne room, all Dorothy could see was a huge green head saying, I am Oz, said the voice. Who are you, and why do you seek me? Dorothy told him she wanted to find her way home. I will help you if you'll kill the wicked witch of the West, said the Wizard of Oz. And the scarecrow went in, and he saw the wizard as a green lady. And he asked the wizard for a breath. And the tin man went in, and he saw the wizard as a wild animal. And he asked the wizard for a heart. Then the lion went in last. And he saw the wizard as a ball of fire. And he asked the wizard for courage. And they all got an answer from the wizard. He would help if they would help kill the Wicked Witch of the West. The Wicked Witch of the West saw them coming. And she tried to stop them. The tin man killed the wolves. And the scarecrow caught the crows that she sent after them. And the bees broke their stings that they tried to sting the tin man. And the winkies ran away when the lion roared at them. The Wicked Witch of the West was angry. She sent the fierce flying monkeys after them. They dropped the tin man on some rocks and broke all into pieces. And they pulled all the straw out of the scarecrow. And they put the lion in a cage. Those flying monkeys. The flying monkey took Dorothy and Toto. They picked them up and flew Dorothy and Toto to the castle. The witch saw Dorothy's magic shoes. And she began to shake. And the wicked witch kicked Toto. And that made Dorothy mad. She picked up the basket of water and threw it on the witch. Then as Dorothy looked on into wonder, the witch began to melt and shrink and fall away. And then there was nothing left but a puddle. The Wicked Witch of the West was dead in a puddle. Dorothy let the lion out of the cage. The Winkies helped her put the straw all back in and stuff from that scarecrow all in. They helped her put the Tin Man back together. 
And then when they returned to the palace, to the throne room, it was empty. The lion gave a roar and knocked over the screen. And hiding behind it was this little man. It was the wizard. I'm not really a wizard, he said. People only think I am because I do tricks. But I'll help you if I can. The wizard filled the scarecrow's head with sharp things like pins and needles. Now you have a brain, he said. And he took a red silk heart and stuffed it with sawdust and put it inside the tin man so that he would have a heart. He gave the lion a drink that would give him courage. And see, that's him doing all of that. Putting pins and needles into the scarecrow to give him a brain. Then he put the heart in the tin man. And then he gave the lion a drink that would give him courage. He made a balloon so that Dorothy and Toto could fly home. The balloon took off before Dorothy was ready and it flew away without her. She missed the balloon. The good witch of the south came to rescue Dorothy. Tap your heels there. Tap your heels together three times and tell the magic shoes where you want to go. So Dorothy clicked her heels together three times and said she wanted to go home. She wanted to go home. She wanted to go home. The good witch Glinda of the South made the scarecrow the ruler of Emerald City. She made the tin man the man ruler of the Winkies. And she made the land the king of the forest. And Dorothy and Toto, they awoke from their dream. And there they were at home. And she said to Aunt Elm and Uncle Henry, home, sweet home, with the people she loved.